Are you certain? Welcome back, everyone, to the High School Select 2017 playoffs for our round of a matchup between Harbor Collegiate Institute versus Temple City High School. Yes, Temple City you. dropping that first game as Harbor Collegiate Institute take a very commanding lead in game number one to bring them up one to nothing in this best of three matchup. Crusader couldn't bring you the cast that's brought to you by Twitch TV. Be getting into the picks and ban phase now. So LeBlanc banned out by Temple City is what we saw last game. As well as a new new band coming across here. So it looks like same bands from last game to begin with. And the big question for me is uh, will they opt to ban away the Zach there? Or maybe pick it for themselves here as they excuse me, as they do have that first pick. The real darkness on that Zach showing why he's such a dominant jungler there as it's as he went absolutely huge with it last game and absolutely dominated it there. So Twitch to be banned out here by side of HCI target ban away from Z motions he's big on that twitch and unfortunately we saw in that last game I mean Zud's known Cassiopeia dropping a game there as Zud was really taken down and actually they find a bit of an issue with Mod Man 4 on the cannon there as they decide to ban that one away he had a very good game up in that top lane and he was split pushing for pretty much the entire time And the pushing for pretty much the entire game there and was very effective on it as you would expect a Kennen to be. So you used to be cool. We'll see how it goes down. Echo banned out here as well. I believe we did see that in the last game, but yeah, pretty solid band across from everybody. As not too surprised to see most of these things here. And yep, that's gonna be the Zach first pick. Definitely not surprised to see that one after that Zach just gave Temple City at thrashing in that last game. They decided to pick it for themselves. And I would say that's a very good pick to get because it was huge last game. So now here's the rest of the pick and ban phase coming in. So Temple City High School just first picked that Zach and now they'll be looking down to see what Harvard Legion Institute decide to go with here. Seem like they just want to pick their respective roles in top of the jungle for Mod Pro Man 4 and Real Darkness. And we are going to see the Ivern getting locked in here. So we did see Ivern in that last game. So we're seeing the jungler switch up here. Ivern was playing in that last game and it was by... Here comes Santa. This time, here comes Santa. Picks up the Zack, and Ivan will be picked by Real Darkness. Zud hovering this Cassiopeia once again. He did have a pretty big, strong performance in the laning phase. Unfortunately, when it got to the end game, uh, things were looking. Things just looking bad for the entire team of Temple City there. So there really wasn't much he could do. And we'll see how it goes down. Temple City High School, Harvard Collegiate, and Temple City. Down one to nothing, off to go for some comfort picks here. The the rest will be coming in for the support. Good pick here for your sketch, I would say. And we'll be seeing Zod on his Cassiopeia. Definitely a comfort comfort pick for him. Now into the second phase of this pick ban. Now it's the second phase of this pick ban here when Caitlyn was just picked up for we show you in the AD carry role. And he's going to be having a lot of help obviously from that Ivan. They'll be opting to ban out some AD carries here and going to be targeting uh, Z motions. Banned away that Zaya, which is a champion he's played to some effect as well. Of course his Twitch already banned out in this game. And I mean Temple City are building a very nice pick comp for themselves here. I mean an Ash would go very well in their comp. That's something Harbin may want to target out here is casting band away. So some more targets on that middle lane, but overall not too much. In reaction to that last game, we've seen that Galio come out that second rotation as well. And that's not surprising. He's going to take out that that guy out of the champion pool. That was a band in the last game too. 
Oh, final band here. They could just opt to continue to focus his mid lane and decide to focus the support role here to take away that Lulu. Given that we saw Sketch play in that last game. I mean, you see the power of Lulu call always comes in clutch with the shield or the wild growth to save an enemy. Or in, there's a lot of poke as well. And oh, Karma was left open though. And Karma being played by fights in that last game. I think he was out of killing speed with that Karma. Just that support champion that does so much damage. But Temple City are looking to fire back here as they picked up a Thresh and a Zac. Lots of CC, lots of poke coming out from them. Or not poke, but lots of pick potential. As well as a Cassiopeia, you throw that one in there as well. And now looking for the top laner. And looking like a... Ooh, a Pantheon locked in here. So Pantheon in the top lane, gonna be played by Zykin, and that's definitely an interesting pick. A lot more of a fighter top laner, as they'll be going up against the Fior on Mod Man 4 here. And it's gonna entail that Temple City probably wanna go for a lot of global presence with this team comp and be all over the map here. And we'll see if they can pull it off. The Jin locked in as well for the AD carry. So lots of pick potential here once again, lots of CC from both of these, from all five of these champs here have some way of controlling the enemy and Harvey Collegiate Institute on their last pick, it's for the mid lane and looking like Syndra. Oh, the Corky did just get buffed. Locked in. Very interesting in terms of the... In terms of the pick and ban phase here, Harvard Collegiate Institute going a bit more of a risky comp here. Lots of damage coming in from them. They have double support, double AD carry, or uh, well, you know, double support, double marksman. Corky has some hybrid damage in there, but a lot of physical damage coming out from them. We'll see how it goes. This is game number two set and locked in here. We have all the rosters for these two teams of Temple City High School versus Harvard Collegiate Institute. Temple City High School going to be bringing some interesting things to their game and. So will Harvey Collegiate. We'll be seeing a Pantheon and a Corky. I'm not sure if we've seen those so far. At least for the games that we've broadcasted this season. So we'll see how it goes down when we get on into the Rift, guys. You're watching the High School Star League 2017 playoffs brought to you by Twitch. We'll be back after the spectator delay for game two of Harvard Collegiate Institute. It's Temple City. HCI leads one to nothing. Stay tuned.
Alright guys, welcome back in and onto the rift and straight into a pause. Just what I like to see, of course. Uh Temple City High School. <laughs> uh taking on Harvard Collegiate Institute, one to nothing, the scoreline here in favor of HCI after they picked up that first game of the best of three series there. And apparently mod command four drop this mouse. Very important tool to have when you're playing League of Legends. So guys, don't forget. Keep your masses in check when you're playing. And now, early lead start already. We're going to be seeing a bit of an invade come out, forcing out that flash. So, that's probably going to be lost there as the invade will continue here. Sketch looking to go in for some deep wards. That's going to be it there. Temple City High School looking to find some advantages in this early game. And they do draw away that flash to start things off. So, not a bad way to start out this game. And now we'll be seeing Real Darkness head over to this blue buff. Just puts a ward down and heads straight back out, so. Oh, oh, the zero to zero. No kills in that first invade coming through, but. Temple City High School looking to find something there as they are down in their first game. Took the first game loss here in the quarterfinals of the high school Australia. Looking to head over into those semifinals. And possibly make it to the grand finals for their third time in a row, but. Panthers make a lot of changes from that last game. Harvard Collegiate Institute, interesting for them to see that they did and change up their play style. Last, last match we saw them, they're around a 16 match. Honestly, it seemed like it seemed like a very solo key style play from them. They were just looking to win lane, win game, and it was a bit hectic coming out from both of the teams here. This in, the, in this last game, though, they definitely had a lot more organization as they were rotating around the map looking for. Looking to make the plays, looking to take down objectives, and they absolutely snowballed the lead out for themselves, so. Things going well for this first seeded team here in these playoffs this year. Real Darkness going to be able to take that. So that red buff away, as Ivan's just absolutely love to do, steal away those buffs, and I will make his way back to his buff to do it. Temple City High School should be worried this pretty soon because Ivan's gonna walk into his blue buff with the supported. And they should be able to see that Ivan has a red buff that most likely is not his own. And also, here comes Santa's just gonna find out now by himself. Alan's middle lane pulling out that Corky, and we know that Corky has been popping up here and the patch notes getting a few buffs heading into the into the world, so maybe we'll be seeing him come out, but. Al's going to be bringing this champion out for himself, and we'll see how it goes through. He's up against Zud, who's playing his favorite champion, the SEOP here, and it's something that I'm going to have to watch out for. In that last game, I think, I mean, Hal knows what he was up against in that last game, so he's picking the Corky into it. And one that he planned for, I would suppose, here, because they left that Cassiopeia up. Lots of champions really left up from that pick ban phase. Karma getting through once again for fights, which was very dominant in that bottom lane matchup. And Temple City allow it through this. Say, hey, we'll just play with it, and we'll see how they've adapted to how they've adapted their game plan to this second game of this best of three here. As match has been a bit plagued by pauses here, but hopefully things should be really smooth from here on out. Now we're seeing 3-16 in, and we'll be seeing some junglers want to make some impacts on this game here. Here comes Santa in that middle lane Valkyrie out, though, by Hal. Very easy to get out of that one there, as here comes Santa. Now needs to respond to this top lane where gank's happening, as Zyken has real darkness on him right now. Gonna get the stuns out here, looking to trade out some damage. Mob Man 4 getting low, flash away from that snare, able to escape. So Zyken in a bit on a two-on-one to start things off here as he's playing his Pantheon. And you can see how punishing it is against this Fiora here. He is doubling the CS just three, just shy of four minutes in here. And had a bit of a one-on-two scenario for himself, but able to make it out of there. Just having to use his flash. That won't be a tool for him. 
He's just gonna stay in this top lane and keep pressuring out here. First dragon of the game is gonna be an infernal dragon. That's when you're gonna be wanting to be watching out for here as of these teams. I mean, especially Harvard Collegiate Institute, huge damage on their team. They definitely want the edge in that fight. When they, especially when they don't really have a dedicated tank for themselves. As very damage heavy comp with two supports and two marksmen and pretty much a lot of attack damage coming out from them. And we'll see him stand on one of the impact moving again. The flash for the play back here onto fights. They're gonna focus him down and maybe get the root down onto both of them. They slam them together, and that's gonna be the first blood over for Z Motions. And Ice can't get in that bottom lane. Sketch dealing some damage. Sketch going very low here as we sure he looks to deal some damage back. Isn't able to. That's for his blood for Temple City High School. So, so, so starting this game on the right foot here, especially compared to that last one with the first blood in for them. Last game they went down early and this game we're seeing the impact of the Zac this time on the other team. Bottom lane fight here once again. Really sure he forced a flash away. Z-Motion's flashing in there. Secures that kill as everyone was so low right there. And now Zyken in a bit of trouble. He's looking to back away here. He's low. He's rooted. He can't get himself out of this one. And that's Modpo Man 4 with the kill in return. So 2 for 1. Going to be in favor of... Going to be in favor there as Fights takes down Sketch in an interesting one there. I'm not what just happened but it's gonna be going down so action packed game to start things off here it's two for two but slight advantage is over for temple city and they do have the two kills on the ad carry of z motion so that's someone you have to be very wary of middle lane right now trading even for even blow for blow and turn to cs but zed taking a lot of damage and over on the wings is going to be the jungle liver and pops his head in says hello and backs away Action all across the map there and sketch maybe uh yeah sketch staying a bit too long in that bottom lane a lot of fights to find the kill onto him that karma damage really coming through there and fights he flashed to get in there to finish it off and sketch unable to escape but still two kills on that ad carry for Jin. picked up the bf sword so he's gonna have quite a nice AD advantage on his opponent, but right now Zyken, they want to shut down this top lane Pantheon because Real Darkness is up here once again for another gank. Dodges out of the snare, but gonna get hurt so badly by this duo. Real Darkness finishes him off. That's another kill in that top lane. Here comes Santa in bottom lane, gonna get rooted up here. Gets a great hook though. Here comes Santa looking to come in though, can't sneak by. And said they take a lot of damage from trying to exit the fight. Z motions and Ryu sure you duly got, but Z motions comes up with the kill. Taking him out and getting those trades with the autos down. And now they can push on for this bottom lane a little bit here. As they have a bit of time in a 2 on 0. So I'm gonna get caught out here, but throws down the stun onto Hal Hal. Doing a lot of damage with that. Corky, now gonna get ganked here comes Santa coming across though, can't find anyone to bash Hal together with, so. We'll back away. now we're going to be seeing this 3 for 3 score line just 8 minutes in it's going to be Temple City High School with very nice with going blow for blow here I mean it's a nice start relative to that last game but still even trades on both sides and a little bit of pressure on this top lane coming out from Real Darkness really kind of shut down this top lane Pantheon who was definitely giving Mod Command 4 a lot of trouble but now that Mod Command 4 has his Tiamat finished up he's going to be able to shove up these waves have a bit of a better time against his Pantheon He's only been able to pick up boots and two long swords. Pantheon, man, it's that lane bully doing lots of damage. Here comes Santa. He's gonna get found out here, sitting in the brush, waiting to look for a gank and do some movements to see around the jungle from both of these guys. Real darkness had his make his way over in there as well, place down a control wood as well. Get some deep vision. Got in a bit of trouble once again. Al doing lots of damage to him, but unable to trade all of it back there. How just so much. 
Far damage fights is low. He's down. Z motions another kill four to nothing. Chasing have to reassure you. Do they want to go under? They can't get under the church for it. Show you going low. Top lane fight coming again. Zykin getting dive. Goes around for the stun. Throws down the ignite. The block on the auto attack. Zykin comes through with the 1v1 trade and baits in the enemy there. And now, how gonna get caught off here? Forced to flash away. Let's bounce. Can't find it, but he decides to go forward with it. Getting over the wall is Hal and able to escape with that. Meanwhile, bottom lane shut down as real darkness came for the game. We show you just took down his opponent's emotions. And now Daisy's in under the turret. We show you. Still chasing forward. Has that headshot. Ready to go in. We sure you're gonna get jumped on here by here comes Santa. Here comes Santa now in trouble. As he's under the limelight. They're trying to balance out with this AD carry, but coming in is Zud who should have most of the damage here. We show you trying to take down here comes Santa before going down. Instead dies to the turret. Kill over to here comes Santa. So action all across the map here once again, but once again, Temple City High School gonna be coming up with all the leads there. Come out on top of that trade. That top lane, Saiken with that 1v1 duel is gonna be huge there. And that bottom lane gank, I mean, uh, going both ways. They did shut down the Jin, but they were able to trade that kill right back and me show you down one and three in here. Four to one scoreline for for emotions on this Jin is gonna be scary. He's doing a lot of damage. Kills have been spread out all across the map this game. Last game is mostly centered around wherever the wherever was wherever real darkness was, but this game he's been, you know, up to top lane to go for a two on one and not really huge fights, but small gate lane gang coming through and we see it, some production for kills in that top lane, but in the end, Viking still has this lead. He has a CS lead, he has just got that solo kill in there as well as they're chasing after this scuttle crab. That gets a kid for Temple City High School. Vision around that midfield as Zed does. Damage back here. Bottom and they can trade out here. Really sure. Do you really want to fight the lane opponent that's been completely smashing you? Heard him call channeled here, but there's a teleport coming across and they can't get out in time. Are you sure you're going to take down Sketch and Z Motion's in trouble now? Ace in the hole, gonna land fights. Finishes off that kill with the Q and Bob Man 4 teleporting to that bottom lane to change the course of that fight. That Kunin call was getting channeled there, but he had to cancel it one. Saw that teleport come through and Temple City High School were just unable to escape from that one. So this will be first turret of the game. It's gonna go down and it's gonna be Harvard Collegiate picking it up. The Collegiate fighting some advantage here. They take two kills in that bottom lane. They pick up the first turret of the game and now heading over for this first dragon. Turtle Drake gonna get started up here. And here comes Santa. He's gonna be around trying to possibly look for a steal. Maybe not. Here. Oh. You're gonna see it's still up though when Sketch wards it. They make their way over, but it's getting very low here. They hook onto it. And now just be secured. As I was saying earlier, this is a huge, uh, huge dragon for them because they're a very damage heavy team here. Not too much in terms of taking stats to front line. They just want to explode Temple City High School. But having that damage boost just helps them that much more. Top lane turret did go down, but getting pushed in by Zykin as Oddfoot Man 4 was down in that bottom. Now that Zykin did go for that Ignite support on the side. Temple City High School, you do lose a lot of global pressure with that because Champion Soul isn't global, it just has a very big range here. Also, Harvard Kali Janinsky have been able to put down some of the deep control wards in Temple City's jungle. They haven't, Temple City hasn't, haven't quite snuffed those out just yet. Harvard Collegiate though with the predictable move of rotating their two duo laners to that top lane after picking up that bottom lane turn and dragging as well, getting all the objectives down there. And now we'll be seeing a three-man push on this bottom lane by Temple City. They're trying to counteract it here as we also see a response on that top lane. Here comes Santa looking for that let's bounce. Can't find anybody with it. So, attempts to the pickoff right there and use the flashing while well, the rest of them come up with anything to bring back into Zud for the potential kill. 
like goalie here for Temple City High School as they picked up that first turn. As they picked up their first turn in the top lane. Now looking for the second here is Demotion, Zycan, and Sketch. Trio for Temple City are pushing in onto the bottom lane. Looking to take down this tower, looking to take a turret lead here. Are gonna be met by a Fiora, Corky, and Iron who don't like what they're doing by trying to take down this turret. Meanwhile, top lane, Zed going down. Zed taking down fights. Emotions getting low here. A double kill in that top lane. Meanwhile, bottom lane, trades continue to happen here, but it's going the way of Harvard Collegiate as they take down two, they take down three. Two for three across the map. Double kill as well for Mod Man 4. And interesting fights coming across here. Two for three overall in favor of Harvard Collegiate. Actually, wait, a three for three. So dead even there as the bottom lane kill did come through. Real Darkness did go down. Not sure who killed him there, but 15 minutes in, we're having a bit of a bloodbath here. It's nine to nine, dead even for these two teams. No objective is going to be able to go down off of that fight either. So it'll be fairly even. Not much will change in this game after that. Although double kill over to Mod Man 4 is gonna be nice for pretty big boost in gold. How he decides to spend that. I can coming down in the middle lane. I can't summon out. I summon I do need out. Double save. We'll see how they respond to this pressure coming out now from Harvard Collegiate. They're gonna take some advantage here, trying to catch off some of these Raptors, and they will be able to. But. Interesting setup. A lot of hovering on this top half of the map, especially for Harvard Collegiate. And I can just back up here after that. Zack is back up here after that. Three man pushing the bottom and ended with a 2 on 3 in favor of Harvey Kalita's favor. I think they're just happy that Zed was able to trade back in that top lane, but I was going to get pushed on real darkness. Gonna be coming up here as well. And actually, they're completely backing off of this top lane turret, so I think it'll just go down here. Temple City gonna lose their turret as they. Well, not lose the turret just yet, but take a lot of damage on it as they were rotating for that lane swap. And yeah, they'll have the dual lane up in that top lane just as team of Harvey Collegiate have Zykin running into Mod Pro Man. Mod Pro Man, he just picked up a lot of gold and a lot of damage with the kills and he goes in. Mod Pro Man 4 just sneaks in that kill. Now Hal in that top lane. Gonna get hooked up though by Sketch. He'll continue to look for this fight. Sketch getting blown up. Trying to hit it back. Zud does find one. Petra finding Gaze. Gets the double kill for himself. There is the stun and Curtain Call will be coming up here. Hal... Gonna be able to take down Sketch in the midst of that, but still chasing after. Fight is going low. Fight is going down. Triple kill for Zud as bottom lane does get pushed in. So one for three overall in favor, uh, two for three, sorry, in favor of Temple City High School, but they do lose that bottom lane into turret. And it's a one for three turret advantage for Harvey Collegiate. There's not much that Temple City can push down after that goes down so overall a bit of a better fight there for the Institute as that solo kill on the bottom lane for Fjord letting himself to kill Santa in a bit of a little save. Let's see if we can fit a replay into there of that last fight though. As you see the damage is coming out from Zud. This is why it's his favorite champion champion that animation on the petrifying gaze going backwards and he's actually stunning forwards there with that quick turn and he's able to get that catch onto the AD carry and the curtain call comes it through for all the damage to pick it up. So very smart play coming out from Temple City High School there. They do find that just slight advantage coming through for them, but overall it's still Harvard Collegiate Institute just ahead in gold right now and it's nearing the shy of the 20 minute mark. I think it's about to be respawning as soon as that just damage here. Ocean Drake now up. First one was the Infernal Drake that went to Harbor Collegiate. But Feral hasn't been attempted and it's going to be disappearing pretty soon. So maybe we won't be seeing it this game. Last game we did see it to pretty good effect. As the game continues to play out. But Mod Man 4 getting that heavy trade onto Zyken there is 
Kind of scary for that Pantheon, because Pantheon, you kind of have that early game and you're going to fall off late a bit. Hello. So we're going to see what Zykin can pull out with this... Can come out with with this Pantheon here as middle lane Zegning really caught out here by a lot of the members of Arbor Collegiate Institute trying to so there is self away as uh oh Mako Man 4 is caught under the turret and that's going to be the pick that ends up going their way petrifying gaze that was trying to wait him out but fights is able to get in there late Valkyrie in there sketch going to be coming up though the shield coming in as well so going to be able to keep himself healthy here Pantheon going to be coming in. Here comes Santa, trying to flash in there as well. The Root's gonna be coming in though. Zykin doing the damage that he can. Zug gonna be trying to enter this fight here. But won't quite be able to. So, not gonna see anything happen in terms of kills there. It's a 4v5, it's in favor of Temple City High School. 20 minutes in here. Yeah, is that able to slither himself out of way away from that mid lane gank or mid lane collapse when it was like four, three, three, four members of Harvey Collegiate was very impressive. I think he just kind of ran away there though, and he ha even had to blow that flash. He's a petrifying gaze. I was able to wait him out, and the kill just came out, and it was, it was like, all right, let's just not. The so kill counters going the way of Temple City, but they're down on turrets by two still. Dra uh, Ocean Drake hasn't been attempted just yet. His Landing on that control ward. I thought they realized that. As Harbor Collegiate Institute has just been more for that deep vision. I've been paying off here. They've been able to keep these wards up and running. And though we're going to be seeing pressure as we're seeing split push once again from the sphere. Not too surprising. I mean, the duelist is just able to do that. It's be nice as they started up here, but it's more important that on the other side of the map, the Baron gets. Oh, they were heading for Baron, but Arbor Collegiate didn't see. We're heading for Baron, but when they pass by that control, where they decided we need to go for a push instead. They're gonna know we're here. They try to sneak in that Baron, but aren't able to. And now we're facing some pressure in this middle lane. Meanwhile, Mako Man Four still still pushing in this bottom lane. We'll see how it goes down. Aqua Man 4 is still pushing it up here as Lycan turns to contest him. We'll be having to keep track of these two lanes of action here as Malpa Man 4 just will be remaining in this bottom lane. He does have teleport and Pantheon does have the Grand Skyfall, so both of these guys can't be here on a moment's notice. Here comes Santa. Standing over this wall, trying to find something here. I'm gonna land into this trash here. Yeah. 22 minutes. And Harvard Collegiate Institute once again looking for the fight. Here comes Santa over the wall. The stun landing, and they take down Ryu Shoryu. And now they're gonna go for the rest of this fight here. Possibly Real Darkness gonna get zoned out. How wants to go in for damage. Flash over the wall. The death sentence goes wide. Unable to get anything there. Here comes Santa comes in once again though. Looking to bring them together. Does slam Hal and fights together. But Hal turns around with so much damage. And here he returns with it. Look at the damage from this Corgi trying to shred them down here. And the Petrifying Gaze lands onto two though. The damage, the exhaust. Here comes Santa. Takes them down. And the kill onto fights as well. They just clean up house. The Descendant's gonna land onto Sketch, but the Fiora is coming in with this teleport. Grand Skyfall to counter out as Mako Man 4 is looking to come in here, and that's gonna be the killing speed for Z Motions. They clean up that Fiora easily. And now they move ahead to this Baron as they just take down three members. Temple City High School with an absolute huge fight there. Here on the Baron now. They'll be able to take it down very easily. So that's Baron going the way of Temple City. As they have the scoreline here, 23 minutes in, they've come out and they've jumped out to the lead, taking down quite a few members of Harbor Collegiate Institute and be able to get away with it as well with minimal losses. So that's 17 to 11 in favor of them. And now they're heading gold despite being down by two turrets. And I mean, this Baron buff is really going to help them change that turret count that they are trailing by 
replay of that last fight there at Temple City High School. Zud just, they get the capture on to really show you early. And that was just, I mean, great presence of mind coming out from here comes Santa with that. And then later in the fight, that petrifying gaze coming out from Zed to get that double stun down was absolutely huge. As HCI were threatening to come back in there with the damage coming in. But middle lane, we are going to be seeing this fight develop here as we're seeing Temple City High School looking for this push with that Baron buff. Once again, the mod man 4 is just going to be on the side looking for that split push himself here. As the Fiora are going to be a thorn in the side of Temple City High School. I can be forced to try to deal with him. He'll throw out these waves quite nicely here and go for the stun and has a lot of damage in the Mod Man 4. He's aiming the turret and now is in a lot of trouble though, trying to get himself away from this one. He's getting chased after, flashing inside of the base right now to try to escape. Here comes Santa coming into this middle lane here to try to fend off. Gonna be able to bring one under the turret, but shut down onto Zud means that they'll be able to find the kill there. Slams two together as Iken comes into the fight, but he's gonna get focused down here now. And Temple City High School gonna completely split up here. Sketch gonna be here. Here comes Santa going in, finds another kill for himself, and joining the fight is Z Motions. Gonna be able to find the kill on to really sure you executes him down. And now they'll continue on. So far, one th for three. Real Darkness flashing away. Here comes Santa chasing after. Cannot take him down though. As top top lane turret does go down, but it's a one for three exchange in favor of Temple City High School. Turret going to the side of Harvard Collegiate Institute as well. But Temple City High School with more members up and with Baron Buff still active on the remaining members. They're going to be pushing on for this middle lane wave and they should be able to at least get a lot of damage onto the turret if not take it. Oh, some scary moments here. Both of these teams. I'm going to end up going the way of Temple City High School. Yeah. Up from man four on that skill push. Aiming that turret there and ends up costing his life for it, I believe. And I mean it's just a very aggressive move by him saying I'm gonna sacrifice myself for the turret. Maybe my team will be able to get it. pick him in lane, but and they did. They take the, they took down Zud so quickly his first kill the first death of the game. But the response from Temple City was astounding and we're here at 26 minutes in and this is much closer game than the last. Odd Command 4 gonna continue to split push it out here in that bottom lane. There's a top lane. Time's gonna be finished up for everybody here. We're seeing Zyken. I mean, he is. We saw how much damage he was able to do to that Odd Command 4. I mean, although granted, Odd Command 4 wasn't doing that, but lots of damage coming out from this Pantheon, and that's what he's bringing into the team fight. Here comes Santa, surprisingly, has 4 kills to boost up his scoreline here as he has. And jumping into those fights fearlessly, as um, that like to do. And Final Drake will be going down here. David Temple City High School to take that one away quite easily. No response from Harvey Collegiate. We will parry on the best sentence. That would have been. That would have been caught up in. Without getting chased after, though, they're gonna get this pick in onto him. Down his hourglass coming across. Here comes Santo wants to come over the wall. It's gonna opt not to, but once again, Zug gonna get caught out there. And bottom lane, we are seeing a push come through. Still, as Pantheon's shoving that one up. And Temple City High School have to make a response there as we do see Mappa Man 4 does go down, and the curtain call was what took him out. But middle lane, they're losing turrets, and they're losing turrets fast. The pushing power of Corky and Caitlyn take down the two middle lane turrets. Now heading over for this inhibitor turret. I don't know if they want to commit to this one though. Sketch is going to be jumping in here. Grand Skyfall going to be coming across. The root going to be coming in here as well as the damage will be coming. Real Darkness gets the kill. Z Emotions zoning out how as they chase after. We assure you they get the stun down. We assure you in trouble. Gets knocked up. Gonna go down here. Z Emotions godlike with a double kill. 28 minutes in. Temple City take down four. How the remaining survivor here as Temple City will now look for a potential push as they just took down four members there. They have a lot going their way here. Once again, just coming up with these team fight wins and really commanding these fights here as well. Coming in under the turret now. 
Al in a lot of trouble. He's gonna go down. Can't really escape that one there when he's dived in on like that. Alpha Man 4 trying to take out the minions in the back line, but it's gonna still gonna lose his inhibitor. That time is still on me to show you in how, so this inhibitor will fall in the middle lane. That goes over to Temple City High School. They crack the base open just 29 minutes in. Well, not just 29 minutes in, but 29 minutes in, they crack open the base, and that's the first inhibitor down for Temple City High School. They move forward with that. They're going to continue with this push on this top lane here. As... This top lane here, he's going to tend to jump again. going to zone them away here. And that's the top lane inner tower going down. We're already seeing Mobile Man 4 once again swift pushing in this bottom lane. And the team of Temple City going to look to back off now after picking up three turrets. They tie Tem So they tie Harbors. Kill, turret kill count at 6-6, six to six, but they're heading kills by quite a bit at 12 and they're head by 5,000 gold. Some nice advantages going in for them here. And that bottom lane fight that came across here was... That, that led to the huge amount of kills here as you can see it coming across. Here comes Santa just coming in there and it was off of just such good plays coming in from this team and Temple City High School. We got the triple kill off of that for their AD carry. And now I have a very commanding lead in this game. Sitting here 30 minutes in and it's Bodpo Man 4. Still pushing once again in this bottom lane and gonna be uncon gonna be contested by Zyken here. Who else but him here? That's a Guardian's Angel as well he just picked up. Bodpo Man 4 with the Ravenous Hydra and the Trinity Force built up. Be backing in front of his opponent here. Gonna be challenging him to a duel and maybe they'll start one up. But it won't be a duel for much long. Sketch coming in here for the assist. The dance coming in around this Baron buff right now, Baron Asher. And we're sitting at 31 minutes. Both teams pressuring out here. But Temple City High School coming in with all the team fight wins, which is what you'd expect of this team. So much damage, and oh, Z-Motion gonna get caught out by his own jungle, but here comes Santa, he's here to help him out. Z-Motion getting the heal, gonna get Guardian Digital popped here. Coming out, here comes Santa, he's gonna go low. Let's bounce, coming across, but it brings Hal to shut down his own AD carry. Bit of friendly fire there, and now Zud's going low, trying to cut himself away. Goes back in, takes out me to show you. Meanwhile, the shutdown coming across. Zud's still here. He's still looking to fight. Gets over the wall. Zyken takes out Mopham Man 4 in the bottom lane. Double kill for Zud as he takes out more of the damage. The poison's coming out. He's trading with Hal. The flay in from Sketch. He takes down Hal. Slaps him down with the Thresh auto attack to finish off that kill. And Zud gonna be chasing after this Ivern. Four members already dead for Temple, uh, for Harbor Collegiate Temple City. Coming through with another team fight, you win yet another real darkness being chased after here. Not gonna get rooted up, but in that base right now, it's gonna be Super Minions pushing in and Ultimate coming out from Zai can deal damage to these turrets. He's gonna take down one Nexus turret. Gonna aim for the second one here as well. Able to take it down, but fight to me, sure you're coming up very soon. He's gonna just opt to run away there. So once again, four for a few members on Temple City High School there. They did lose, I believe, two. Yeah, they lost two members in that fight. Two for two for four in favor of Temple City. Also picking up that one of those Nexus turrets. We'll have a lot of pushing power in this game now. That's good here for Harvard Collegiate. We've seen Temple City fire straight back with a solid play throughout the game. Looking a little shaky there in the middle game, but so far they've been coming out on top. Baron Dance will continue. Both of these two aiming for this objective here. And it's going to be started up by Temple City. So, the Collegiate should be pretty aware of this. Yes, they are. Looking to aim for a fight here. We'll I'll see if one does come down. The poke coming out from the Corky. Fight will commence here. Redemption coming in. Can they fight in it though? Daisy will be coming in. Here comes Santa jumping into the enemy team. Let's bounce. Gonna bring in real darkness and they're gonna be fighting in on top of him. Hal does take down Z-Motions immediately. Grand Skyfall gonna be coming across here. Zud trying to cut himself away. Zykin's back in the fight. Be sure you going down low but he's still alive. And oh my god that's four members down. This is gonna be a five for none ace for a Harvard Collegiate Institute. Double kills, triple kills coming in for Ryu. Sure you're able to survive in that fight. 
And that is disastrous for Temple City. And now 34 minutes in, this is going to be middle lane. Going to get pushed in here, maybe more Harvard Collegiate Institute with a commanding fight there right outside of the Baron. 20 seconds, that's the time is still up. I think this might be it. All it took was one fight for Harvard Collegiate Institute to come back into the game. And they're going to come out with the win here. Nexus exposed. Harvard Collegiate Institute sweep the two-time runner-up Temple City. And they move on to the semifinals. What a win coming in for them here, trailing the entire game through, but they finally come through in that last team fight and absolutely bulldozer their way through. And what a disastrous fight for Temple City High School, who looked so good in that game and just weren't able to come out with it. So that's going to be Arby Collegiate Institute moving on as they pick up the win there. 2-0 win coming out. Harvey Collegiate Institute. Find their, navigate their way through this game. And they'll be moving on to the semifinals. They'll be playing. So they picked off one finalist. And next, next week, they'll have the opportunity to pick off another. Thomas Jefferson High School versus Thomas S. Wooten. Thomas S. Wooten, the champions from 20, 2015. Harvey Collegiate Institute just took down Temple City High School. They could do the same if Thomas S. Wooten make it through. But... Once again, a huge win coming out from them. That last fight, absolutely turning that game around, obviously, as they just pushed in for the win after that. So that's going to be the end of our stream tonight, folks. Thank you so much for joining us here at the High School Star League for that second installment of our 2017 playoffs as Temple City High School dropped out of the games here as Harvey Collegiate Institute came across with the win. They move on. To the next round to the semifinals. Temple City Heights are gonna get eliminated here as it is a single bracket. Single elimination bracket. So once again, everyone, thanks so much for joining us. It's been Crusader Kid and Casting for you guys for updates on whenever High School Star League is streaming. Make sure to follow us here on Twitch as well as on our social media on the bottom right corner of your screen. Harvard Collegiate Institute picking up that 2-0 win. We'll be keeping you updated on when we'll be streaming more high school starting playoff action. But that's all for now. So thanks so much for tuning in. And we'll see you all next time.